Hi, welcome to Rate My Gadget, and I'm going to show you two things. Uh, one, how to put your photos on via the cloud onto your smart TV, and also how to mount your photos properly so that you can go from them looking like this with a mount around the edge, which looks pretty poor, to something like this in which you lose the mount and it's as it should be seen. So, let's go. So first things first, um, with the Samsung Frame TV, this is the 65 inch, is they all work on the same principle. They all have something called art mode. And art mode is when you go onto the main menu at home, you can then go on to the, all of the different bits of art that you can either purchase, or if you go right down to the bottom, uh, there's a My Album. And this is where you'll find your own photos when you want to upload them. Above there, actually, if you're interested, there's also something called complimentary, which give you a various amount of free um, images. Now, with the um, with your own photos, the only way, two ways to upload your pictures are via the Samsung Smart Things app or on the control box itself to plug in a USB. Now, with the Smart Things app, you're actually um, able to, if you have it, if you have photos on, say, a Google Drive or something like that, you can upload them. However, I haven't found a way that you can automatically sync that. So what that means is if you were taking photos on your phone and they were uploading onto your Google Drive, it doesn't automatically upload onto your Samsung TV, which is frustrating, which is annoying. And hopefully that's something that they'll figure out and fix in the future. But for now, the Smart Things app is the way that you go. So the Smart Things app works in principle of you link it to your TV and then you pick the pictures and upload it. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. So now that you've done the Smart Things app linking and putting your photos up, what you can go is go onto the home button, photos, and then you can start searching on your photos. Now the problem is what you may find, and I'll show you, is some photos that you bring in, such as this one, this is coming in in a portrait from my phone. And no matter what you do, if I try and change the mounting or anything like that, or change the size, it won't let me. It might let me put a shadow on the mount or something like that. It will change, make, maybe allow me to change the color of the mount, but it gives me very, very limited options when it comes to resizing the image. And this is the bit which unfortunately you have to do outside of the TV, but it's not too difficult, not too difficult. So one word of advice, is if you're taking an image like this and you want to fill it onto the screen, obviously you will, if you're going from a small size photo to a large size photo or larger size, um, if you're going from a, a this size pixels, so the width and height, and then you're increasing it, you will lose some of the picture quality. So if you have a decent photo, which is larger than the size of the, of the um, frame, then reducing it in size is fine. It's when you're going up that you do lose a bit of quality. So I just show you an example of that and it's a bit of a kind of you know, awareness piece. So you can see here, this is the photo here, which, is, which was taken on a phone. It's a square photo. I want to now bring it out. So in other words, I'm kind of zooming in on the photo. And if I just show you what that looks like, you can see, and it's probably not that clear, but you do lose a little bit of the quality of the image. However, if the quality of the image to start with is very high, then you're okay, okay? So let me show you how to do this. So outside of here, you'll need to get a app and both on Android and iPhone, the best one I've found is Adobe Express. Now they let you resize the image and it's one of the few apps that let you resize the image from a smaller size image to a larger size image. Now then, the pixel size that the frame uses is up the top here. And that means that is the pixel size that when you bring the photo in, there is no mount around the edge of it, okay? Now, what the Samsung TV also does is if, it's, if you've got a picture that's bigger than that, it does try and squeeze it down. Sometimes it doesn't do it very well, so you do have to do it outside. But what you want to be doing is manipulating the image so that you're bringing the pixels to that value so that it fills the screen and it loses that mount around it. Now, depending on the size of your TV, this 65 inch, you can see that the quality degradation 
because it's such a, a large screen. On others, if you've got the 32 inch or other TVs, you may not necessarily notice it because of you're going from relatively, you know, a small screen size that you're looking at. So you may not notice the, the drop in quality. Of course, big caveat, if you want the best quality, then look on your phone or SLR camera or whatever you're taking pictures of. Make sure that the pixels are as big as this or that you've got the best quality photos that you're taking in terms of megapixel because naturally that will give you a good quality image. So once you've gone and you've uploaded the photos and I'll show you that on Smart Things, I'll also show you how to do the Adobe Express piece. Okay, so open up the Adobe Express app and it will give you this opening screen. Now, a bit of a caveat, you do get a trial period for 14 days um, and you can still use it free of charge outside of there, but you may just need to uh, delete it and reinstall it or to subscribe to be able to change some of the features on here. But the thing we're gonna show is how to change the size of the image itself. So with any image, Obviously, if you are going from a small image to a large image, then it will lose some of the quality, but if you're going large to small, then you're fine. So hit that plus button in the bottom right, and then you'll need to find the photo that you're Okay, and then what happens is it says choose your size. So straight away, it says what size do you want to work in? So you can say you want to go to the original size, or the one that you'll want is this left-hand one, which is custom. Now the custom size, so this at the moment is a square. It's 3,024 pixels by 3,024 pixels. What that means is that when you put it onto your Samsung frame, it will be mounted because it, uh, the TV won't try and squish it or try and stretch it out. So what you can do on here, and this is the dimensions you'll need to remember, is 3,840 pixels by 2,160 pixels. Make sure that that link there is clicked so it's broken because what that means is if you click that, then it will try and keep the same what's called aspect ratio so it'll always be a square okay and then once you've done that then you can just hit done and that then changes it to the size that you want okay now you can zoom in you can see how good the quality is obviously the only thing is ooh, don't want to turn it don't want to rotate it um once you've once you've done this bit here you just hit done and that's it. Now it'll always ask you double tap to edit text, which is annoying. Just get rid of that. Okay. So now there's no text on it. And then what you do is you download it. So you're just downloading the image in the size that you want. Okay. That's it. Image saved. Right. So that will save onto your downloads. If you then go back, open up Smart Things. Now you'll find the TV in the lounge, wherever it is whatever it's called you'll see this button down on the bottom right see this is where you can add you know art and stuff like that if you click on this blue button once it comes up so you've got to be on the same wi-fi as your tv so once it comes up click that and it will say select the photo do the drop down go right down to the bottom and adobe express And what you want to do is you want to hit the photo that you've just cropped and there you go so it's showing you already that it doesn't need to mount the photo you can mount it if you wanted but that's not what you're doing that's not the point um, so now you've created the photo which is mounted as it should be in the in the thing hit the set on the frame that will then sit there and that will then be a photo that goes up and it's framed in the proper orientation. Now, best thing I would do is to go look at it on your TV to see how pixelated it is, if it's you know stretched too far. But to be honest, usually it's pretty damn good um, if you've got a good high quality image. Um, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Um, please do like, please subscribe. Um, Thank you for watching. Please do leave comments down at the bottom. I haven't in this video shown how to do it by USB. If of course you do want to go down the USB route and you are a little bit more mature in terms of photo editing, you can do everything I've shown you by a Photoshop. And a lot of people out there will probably say that is the best option because you can actually do more with it in terms of editing the photo, changing the brightness, the contrast, making sure you're happy with it before you upload it. What I'm showing today is a really simple, very quick means from your phone of being able to upload a photo in 
the size it's meant to be on the sensor frame. Okay, thanks for watching and please like, please subscribe.